All right, guys, UFC 290 is this weekend, and your boy's out because I can't go to Anaheim and even commentate without losing the championship, so I ain't going. And it is home to the happiest place on earth, but it ain't happy for old DC, so I'm out. But my question to you is, are you ready for this weekend? Because at UFC 298, there will be battles, and there will be champions crowned. So you can join me on the action by letting me know your picks for the fight in the comments. And for this fight, as with every fight, I'm teaming up with the DraftKings Sportsbook to give all new customers a great deal. So, all my new customers, I'm giving you a no-sweat bet. What does that mean? You get a bonus bet back up to $1,000 in the amount of your original bet, even if that bet doesn't hit, with a minimum deposit of only $5. So, all you got to do, sign up, use my promo code, Cormier, to get a no-sweat bet. And DraftKings always has something for all of our existing customers already. You know that. And if sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. We still got you. You can still join in on all the fun with the DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have a shot to win cash prizes. So, guys, listen to your boy. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. All new customers. Use my promo code Cormier and bet to get a no-sweat bet. That's a promo code Cormier. Only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Guys, you bet, you get a no-sweat bet. Sounds cool. Look, I'm not a rapper, but that just made me sound like I'm rapping. Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook right now. Let's go. You know, we were on the TV the other day and you walked past us in the apex yeah. And the girl Charlie Arnold goes, his hair's perfect. I go, it's perfect. Yeah, it is. How do you do that? Everything has a technique. I have my techniques too for uh -huh. my hair. For your hair? Yeah, of course. You spend hours in the morning doing no, this. No, hours not. You nah, do, nah, you spend nah, an hour. No, no, no. Because you got, you, you got a pretty face. I need like 10 minutes to get ready. To get to look yeah, like this? Of course. I was born like this. <laughs> <laughs> the pretty guy. <laughs> Guys, Ilya Teporia. Fighting Alexander Volkanovsky this weekend for the Featherweight Championship of the World. Thanks for checking in with me, man. I appreciate it. I've, I've long My wanted pleasure. to talk to you because I've pleasure. watched you from afar a little bit. Very impressive what you've done to this Thank point. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here talking to you. You are a legend of the sport, and I really appreciate all the moments you give to us. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Your last fight against Josh Emmett. Yeah. Coming out party, man. That was crazy what you did to him. Did you know in that moment, because when I walked in there to interview you, there was no guarantee that you would be next for Volkanovski. Did you yeah. have an idea that if you won, especially in that fashion, you would get a chance to fight for the belt? Yeah, I knew that. How did you know? know. Had you had conversations? I had, mm, I had the conversations, of course, with my management team. I always in, in contact with them. And, but the, the way I, 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 I know that I was able to beat him I, I know that it was guaranteed that I was the next guy for in, in the line to, to, to fight for the title. Yeah. And analyzing the, the whole division, everyone in the top five, I was the next guy. I just had to go out and shine that night, and that's all. And I saw the soccer player there. Yeah. Uh, Sergio. Dude. Yeah, well, I was kind of nervous a little bit. I wanted yeah. to say hi to him. But did then you I ended up taking a picture with him. Yeah, you follow soccer? You know, I, dude, so. I love soccer. Yeah? It's wow. insane. It, you, Real Madrid? Yeah, of course. Are you guys really getting Mbappe? Mbappe? Yeah. I, I think so. I think that so. Is they so they crazy. signed Mbappe. That's yeah. a good team. Yeah, it is. It is. That stadium is nice now. Yeah. Very you go to nice. soccer games? You call it soccer. Mm, so I yeah, know you don't really it like so it. It's no, football. We, no, we call it football, but here in the United States, they so call So you're trying to just kind of do what we do? Yeah. You're American now? No, it's not I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm American, but the thing, um, if I, I start to call it football, the people will, will misunderstand I call it. it. But yeah. I, I'm, I'm a soccer guy, okay, right? So, so I'm a, we, I call we, it football. We can call it football. Let's call okay. it football, me okay, you. Football. You want to fight there? Yeah, I want to fight there. You think you can sell that? In five minutes. Come on, Ilya. Yeah, in five minutes. There's about 70,000 in there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Five minutes. Five minutes. To watch a UFC fight. Yeah. We got a big, big following. 
Well, I saw your Instagram. And you got more followers than Volkanovski already. And you updated your profile. Exactly. 15 and 0. Yeah. World champion. Manifesting it. Manifesting it. Yeah. You know, the confidence, it's very good. It could be called cocky, though. And a lot of people feel like there's some pressure that comes with that. Not for me, because I work hard. It's hard work and dedication. From there is where the confidence comes from. But it feels like you're... So, I mean, I, I talked about this the other day. And I said, let me face you a little bit. I was once the undefeated guy. Yeah. I dominated. I yeah. felt like the only possible outcome was for the same thing to happen against John Jones. Yeah. I would dominate him. But then it didn't happen. And I was not able to make the adjustments on the fly. Have you allowed yourself to think, what if things start to go a little sideways with this guy? Of course I think about that kind of things, but here's the thing, like, if I have two thoughts, one, it's, one of them is negative, and the other one is positive, and one makes me happy, and mm -hmm. one not, which one would I stay? You stay in the happy one. Exactly. So. But you don't have to tell everybody about the happy one. Why not? If that's, if that's the fact that makes me happy. And that's your belief. And your true I belief. Believe, I, I, I believe in that, and I yeah. work for that, mm -hmm. and I try to visualize that, and I, 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 I try to, to, to be and have all my thoughts in, in, in that one, you know, in the positive one. So yeah. I just think from the positive way. Yeah. It's yeah. just I, I watch it, and it's, it really is to me honestly fascinating because it's from everything that you do and you say. The way you carry yourself, your confidence. Your girlfriend yeah. had a very famous quote that was said the other day, which to me, would I would have said, hey. Wait, you know, which one? Which one? Which one? She said something like, if one of these dudes got to go, it ain't going to be my guy. Like, hey, that's good. Yeah. But come on, man. Like, she ain't got to go in there and fight. You yeah. got to go fight. Yeah, but she, she knows and she sees all the hard work I put in, you know, and she knows about me. But it's like, I know, but it's like, there's a, I'm just, there's a lot of pressure. And I said that you it's can't, not, you can't lose. Not, maybe for you. I, of course I can lose. You can't. No, I'm saying you can't. Uh, why not? Bro, you done told us all that. I, I am, I, you told, you gonna lie to me? Okay. So you lied to me now? No. Because you the, told me you win. No, and I, like, no, that's I will feels win. Like. I will, of course I will win. Yes. But if so, something, something goes from the way that I didn't want it, what's gonna happen? Nothing, you just come back and fight again, work of yourself way back. Of course, do you think I'm gonna give up ever in my life? No, I don't seem like I'm always gonna know when I'm gonna look myself in the mirror who I am. I'm never gonna, gonna lose that trust in myself. Yeah. You know? So that's, so that's everything, you know? Yeah. So when you look at Alexander Volkanovsky, yeah. what is it? Because there's something right that gives us obviously it's the work that we put in yeah there's obviously something we see in the opponents to know i didn't just go fight steve Miocic, yeah the heavyweight champion of the yeah, world yeah. right i saw something in steve Miocic that told me i could go beat him to become the double champion yeah. what is there what is it in him that you see because for me i think look i love you because i call it meat and potatoes right yeah. where it's not something big. It's like Ilya Taporia is going to do a thing where he runs off the side of the octagon and he kicks you in the face. He's not going to do a spinning back kick, yeah. but he's going to box as solid Maybe as yes. anyone. Maybe yes. You yes. never know. But it's not what I've seen. Yeah, right? Exactly. For me, what makes you so dangerous is your boxing is next level. You got tremendous grappling. You got tremendous wrestling. You got insane cardio. It's all the good basic things that make champions. Yeah. And when I look at that, I go, that is why I think this fight is so... Uh, interesting. Yeah. What is it that you saw in him that makes you go, you know what, I like the matchup? First of all, because he didn't have the, the, the power to, to knock his opponents out. He didn't have the power to submit them. He's just a fighter who has a lot of volume, you know, he, he, he throws a lot of punches. Mm -hmm. he, he, he got a great cardio, but at the same time, I feel more calm to, to, to be with someone like him inside the cage because I feel like if I make some mistakes, 
Yeah. He w he will not be able to knock me out. Yes. You, you got me. What, what, I, I what, what I'm telling me. So I will be more like relaxed in, in in the fight, which makes me feel more comfortable even in 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 the fight. The only thing I had to do is to prepare myself for five very hard rounds, which I did. I didn't have the oxygen to, to fight for five rounds. I have the oxygen to fight for five days. Yeah. I swear to God, I prepare myself so fucking hard for this one. I put my soul in this training camp. I oh. put everything. So I don't. I don't think to leave anything. I'm going. I'm, I'm going to leave everything in that cage. You know. I'm oh. don't going to make any step back. It's going to be like fucking war you know i'm yeah. gonna crush him in the first round trust me what i'm telling you you know trust me in the first round in the first round i'm gonna i'm gonna put his lights out really yeah because in this one it's a different this fight is different than the josh emmett one because i had to respect his power his power, yeah, his he power. Did. What he, powerful. with him i can be like more take more chances exactly. earlier yeah. More chances, there are yeah. fighters that you have to be very wary for the first yeah. like seven and a half minutes. And I know myself, I can go for five rounds, and every punch I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw, it's going to be um, punches for take his head off. Ilya, do, does some of this confidence in your thought come from seeing what happened to him in the last fight? No, nah, with not, not, not at all. Even if he 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 would face me at his prime. Is he not past his prime? Because I saw him put a video up the other day, like, Volk's past his prime. He's old. He's, like, holding he's, on to that. He's like, old. Uh, to he's be 35 honest, years old. 35, but for the sport, he's old. Bro, I was it's 39 not, when I when I won, a, won the belt. But you faced someone, uh, how, um, how old uh, Steve was when you faced 37, him? 37, yeah, 36, 37. Not 27. Yeah. So when you compare a guy with 27 years old to 35 or 37, he's old. That was me and Jones. Yeah. I was like 35, 36. He was like 26, 27 years old. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I lost. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. She was fucked up. I know that, but you you, <laughs> you did a great job. You, you had a, two very good fights. You you make the fans very excited about the fight, which was very important. You you becoming like one of my favorites. Like you're really man. good with compliments. No, you a nice that, guy. That, that, that's the truth. That's the truth. You did a great fight. Lose or win, you I prepare. I don't like you. it here. Like that's why I don't come. That's why I'm not working this weekend. Every time yeah. I come to Anaheim, I lose the belt. I lost the belt to Jones. Lost the belt to Stepe. So I'm here today. I go home. Yeah. I cannot. I, I don't <laughs> even fight no more, and I'm gonna lose the championship. Think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. Ilya, and I'm sure you know that. Yeah, for sure. I'm just joking. I'm a joke. Yeah, I know. Ilya, you're not making any friends. You said you're not giving Max Holloway a title fight. You said you're not giving Yair Rodriguez a mm -hmm. title fight. Why? What is what is it about those guys? Max Holloway being one of the greatest featherweights of all time. Okay, that tells he, you I'm here's never the thing. Him I have to keep acting like Alexander Volkanovski, right? If he will be able to beat me, he would give uh, Max Holloway the not chance for the fourth one. time. No, no. He would give the chance to Jair Rodriguez. No. no. To Brian Ortega. No. He would choose someone a new challenger, right? But who though? So we're gonna have to wait a little bit more in the division. So the we'll see what, what, how, the, how the all the fights play out, and we're gonna have a new challenger. Yeah, of course we're gonna we're gonna have it. Yeah, because it seemed like that yeah. that got but everybody up in arms a little bit. I don't, don't want to fight with with guys who already fight for a title three or four times, and they get they ass warped and. No, I, I I want new new challengers. You know, I want to clean up a little bit the division. Has that been annoying to you? Know, having to wait. Because you're a guy that for a long time we looked at him and go, okay, so this kid looks like there's some potential to be in this exact position right here, right now. But it's not like he got the best fights as quick as you probably You could have probably fought top five guys already. It took a long time for you to get there. Do you yeah. feel like you were ready early? Was it annoying that you didn't get a chance to kind of get those big fights earlier? Not at all. I don't like to pressure anything, you know, in this life. Everything comes to the, to the right time, so... It happens to me, so yeah. I, I don't like to pressure. I, I'm a person who has a big ability of patience. I'm yeah. very patient person. What happens this weekend in this octagon? Like I know you're gonna fight hard. I know your intention is to become the world champion. What is a fairy tale? Do you, like, do you believe in fairy tales? Fairy tales? What's that? Fairy tale. Fairy tale. Cinderella, Sleeping oh, yeah. Beauty. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, you know, like the, like nah. singing music. After nah. everybody, you become the champion in the world. Leon Edwards, yeah, right. It was a fairy tale. His nickname is Rocky. Yeah, and he kicked Kamar Usman in the head with 30 seconds left, and the whole arena played the theme from the movie Rocky. Yeah, and it was like a fairy tale for Leon yeah. Edwards. It couldn't have been better. He had steak that night. Yeah. And it tasted better than anything he'd yeah, ever had in his I'm entire sure, life. I'm sure. What would that look like to you to happen this weekend? It's going to be something amazing. Something yeah. unbelievable. It's going to be like... This is a dream I had since I was a kid. And to, able, to, to be able to live that in the present, it's going to be something amazing. And I'm going to prove myself that it doesn't matter where you come from if you know where you're going and it's much more important what's in front of you than what's behind you. Yeah. You just have to trust yourself, work tirelessly, have faith in everything is possible in this life. And I, I want to be an example for the, and a mor motivation for the new generation of, for every kid that want to achieve anything in this life. That yeah. if you do the same things I did in this life, the same things you did, that you work hard, everything is possible. I think like, um, I just saw a graphic today before I let you go. I kind of said that if you, your ascent has been so fast that if you win. Yeah, it's when like I'm it, gonna win, I'm gonna win. Like win. you win. Yeah. It was like McGregor, right? He told everybody what he would do. You guys have the same record at the same time, same winning streak. It, he, had, he had lost before, but like, it's very familiar. I feel like your star power could be through the roof. And the things didn't happen by chance. No. It happens for a reason. And the history always repeats. So, yeah, it's going to happen. Guys, it's this guy, happen. slick hair, fast cars, fighting for a championship this weekend. Though. <laughs> if this dude becomes the world champion, you might be looking at the next big star in the UFC and mixed martial arts world. Thank you Ilya Tepori, for your time. thank you for checking in with me. I appreciate you. Guys, make sure you follow this dude, everything that he's doing. <laughs> He's a good dude. Good Thank luck this weekend, much. champ. Thank you very much. Guys, make sure you watch UFC 298 this weekend as Ilya challenges for the championship. Hit the pay-per-view button. Let's see a little shadow boxing as we go out right there. There it is. Look at that. The Spanish Matador fight to the belt this weekend. Until next time, peace. Que grande DC. You're the man. You're the man DC.